Aries, I am Lisi the High Priestess. Press like, subscribe, notification bell. This is my new channel. If you were watching me before, um, if you get the honor to find me, okay, because I completely uh, shut down my old one and I started a new one. So the same thing with Facebook. I had to shut it down. I had to shut both of them down and start from scratch. It's probably the best thing I could have ever done. Um, but it was a lot of hard work. A year and a half of hard work just all go down like I was about it's okay moving forward okay so shutting it down okay so you're shutting it down Drake okay shut everything down like shut down the shop okay Emmys <laughs> there you are Emmys Okay, strong CEO. This is my company. I can shut it down whenever I want. Confirmation. I can shut everything down whenever I want. I am the boss. Or if you're not the boss, you're a high-ranking official. Okay? You're you're like, I need everything to be perfect. Okay? Not just perfect, but well-balanced. I see you checking on a car. I see you owning a car, a very luxurious car. I see you checking the fluids, okay? Checking, making sure that your business is being run correctly, okay? There's nothing worse when then you show up and there's nothing but a mess. Also, if you are in Eastern Washington, I see you putting like the salt all in the front of your company or whatever, because even though it's snowy, people still have to go to work, even when you it's Especially if you are your own boss, Aries. You're like, I have to show up. How can I run my business if I don't show up? I have to show face, okay? But I see someone putting um, like the salt everywhere around their business. Also, like the roads are very slick because it's raining ice, okay? Also, this reminds me of like when the boss calls you and you're like, <laughs> your car is buried of snow and they're like, you're still coming to work, right? <laughs> oh, stop it, okay? Oh, stop it. This also like reminds me of the hand, okay? Make sure you get your mittens, okay? A slap, okay? <laughs> A slap, you still have to come to work, okay? <laughs> okay, whatever. You're you're like, yeah, I I need a helping hand, okay? And if your helping hand doesn't show up, you got to show up. It doesn't matter if it rains, if it's snowing, that is your job. That is your job as a boss is to show up. And if they can't show up, you need to call the next person that can, okay? Okay, and I want to tell you something, Aries. Before I started this video, and it took me a while before I started it, my ears were ringing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a little bit before I do this reading because I don't want any negative energy to enter this. So I feel like you you can tell when, because they say when your ears are ringing, someone is talking about you. And it's usually not positive things it's when your ears get red i feel like when when they're talking positive things but when your ears are ringing i heard a loud ring for all and it was a long ring so i i you could also be calling someone on the phone like you're calling them like to make sure they're okay or you're calling to see if they're going to come in or what's the deal where are we at what's the plan okay um also that that happens sometimes when you're the boss People, when you're the boss and you tell people what to do, people tend to talk about you, especially the ones that are lazy, okay, and ain't never in their life worked, okay, they will be talking mess behind your back. I feel like you know when people are talking mess behind your back, you also know when people are talking great things about you. Energy is fluid and energy can be felt, okay? I feel like you're a good boss, though. You're very well balanced. I feel like you're not one of those bosses that are going to force people to come in because it's snowy, it's slippery, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want your best employees to risk their life out there, okay? The hangman. Yeah, like, you're not going to do this to your people. Also, like, um, there's some people that uh, talk highly of you. Like I said, the ones that talk highly of you are, are your best workers and your lousy workers. They're constantly, uh, uh, why do I always have to do this? And you're like, because I'm the boss and I said so, and things need to be done. 
And I see you giving someone the look, like as they walk away, talking under their breath, like, why the hell do I always have to be the one to do this? Okay, and um, it costs to be a boss, Aries, okay? You understand that? You understand that when you level up in life to have an overall energy of being the boss, that means you're responsible for a group of people under your command, which means your best tier, your best top people are always going to talk highly about you. I'm telling you, people who do not like... Um, who think they're the boss, but they're not, okay? They're going to talk mess about you because they don't like to take orders. And I feel like this year, you're going to get rid of people that, that bring you the seven of swords, that bring you the negative vibe. You're like, I can't do this no more. I cannot work on the seven of swords energy, okay? I need to work with people who are the temperance card. Okay, that are willing to get paid, are willing to do the job and doing it willingly, not with attitude, not with things under their breath. Okay, so I, I see you getting rid of people that ain't no good in your life. We're going to call this a cleanse, a cleanse of your uh, company, a cleanse of the people, the, the pack that you roll with. Okay, um, there's a good saying that says, tell me who you hang out with. And I'll tell you who you are. So if you're hanging around with a bunch of bums, don't don't be surprised if you you are going to be called the bum leader. Okay. Also, there's people that do that. Do you know there's people that do that? They like to hang around with people um, that are less than, so they're always the emperor. Okay, because they'll 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 know they're the best at being the seven of swords, being. Uh, uh, um, what is it called? The worst of the worst, uh, or the best at being bad. There you go. But when you're hanging around with with bosses like yourself, you understand when you're sitting with bosses, you're you're sharing information, you're uh, sharing energy, you're sharing like minds of energy. So it's like learning to learn from your your peers. Okay. When you're sitting in a high-ranking chair like that, you don't got time to be disrespecting people who are just like you. Imagine you being a boss and you're at a company meeting. You're you're hanging out. You're, you're the boss, but you got people, people you're doing business with. They're all bosses. You can't command people, you know, what to do. You learn to talk with people with respect because when you're talking to people like this, you know, in order to get respect, you have to give respect. Okay. And I feel like you're understanding that. And I mean, if you're in your North node and you understand, because, uh, Aries, if, if you are on your South node, you might not understand that if you're in your South node. And if you don't know what North node is and South node, go on Google, look it up and you'll understand what I'm talking about. You're living in your afterlife after 33, uh, things should have meaning to you. It should bring you closer to spirituality. If you, it's possible that people are 50 years old and still living in their South Node. They're still acting like they're 33 years and younger. They still acting like they're 16. They, they can't let, they can't let it go. They don't want to grow. And the thing about being a CEO, you have to grow and you have to learn to get rid of the weeds, to get rid of the dead weight. That's just what it is when you you have goals to be the emperor. That's that that's the kind of energy that must um be acquired to be the man or the woman that runs the industry. And when you're amongst the elites, you're amongst the leaders, you must act accordingly. You think a leader is going to want to deal with you coming with disrespect? And you could be giving someone this speech. Like, I can tell if you're a leader. Because you will come with the utmost respect. Respect is earned. Respect is earned. And in order to, to sit in this chair, that respect takes time to earn. And it takes for someone to earn their stripes. Because being the boss of people like that, running a whole business... That takes balls. That takes guts. 
That takes action. That takes being able to, to stand on your own feet for a whole army. You're leading a whole army. How can you lead a whole army being weak? And, and being the strong and being the weak is an example to your peers, to, your, to the clan that you're running. Respect. Put respect on the Aries name. 